And I guess that brings me to the point of this video, which is in 2025, I have one goal, and that is to create my first game. Hey everyone, don't mind the mess behind me. I'm currently in the middle of a move. Welcome to iHeart Game Dev, my channel all about game development. If you don't know me, my name is Nikki, and for the past five years, I've been making full-length tutorials teaching people how to use the Unity game engine here on YouTube. You might be thinking, hey, this isn't a tutorial, and I would say you are correct. This is not a tutorial, and the reason for that is I want to start flexing my creative juices a bit more. For the past year and a half, I've been working on the same procedural animation course that I finally released last week, and it honestly took a very long time and a lot of creative energy that I don't know if it was actually worth it in the end. But regardless, I'm excited to move on to new and different types of content that I can make on this channel. I was looking back at one of the first videos that I ever made, and it was like my first introduction to who I am. And I remember writing in there in the script, I remember writing that I wanted to do devlogs and game jams and, you know, documenting my whole game dev journey, but it really has been only tutorials up until this point. So while that's been the bread and butter of this channel, and I do enjoy making them, they are very time consuming. I want to make more videos like this where I'm just talking to you, talking to the community and getting to know one another. And you can see what it's like to be in my shoes where I can talk about my own time balancing my full-time job because this is what I do in my part-time and balancing that with my family and balancing that with game dev itself and how I manage that time. I think that's a very interesting topic that is honestly ongoing permanently. There's never a one-all solution to managing all of these things. At least that's been my experience over the past five years. I want to do some game analysis. That was one of my favorite things of a couple of years ago. I made a bastion recreation of the, Looks like the narrator mechanic control. and doing that was super cool. And then I'd love to actually play some of the games that you guys are making because I think that a lot of people come to my tutorials and they learn a lot and then they eventually go and make their game, which is crazy because, you know, I've been making these tutorials for five years and some people have started and ended and released their games in that amount of time, which is, you know, it's awesome for everyone out there, but it's also interesting because I spend a lot of time on these tutorials and feel like I'm almost limiting myself in terms of how much I'm learning and what I need to learn to actually make the games that are up here. While I'm definitely going to continue making tutorials because that's what everybody knows I heart can dev for, I was starting to and have been starting to for the past couple of years only learn things to make tutorials and make content rather than learn things to help me make a game and then make the tutorial because I learned that thing for the game, if that makes any sense. I guess that brings me to the point of this video, which is in 2025, I have one goal and that is to create my first game. What's cool is I already know the theme of the game. I've been thinking about it for a long time now, and I'm curious if anybody in this community can actually guess what it is. I don't think I've ever mentioned this hobby and like passion I have outside of, you know, my own friend group, and it's definitely not mentioned anywhere on this channel. So I'm curious if you think you know the theme of this game and what it's going to be about, leave a comment below and we'll see if you guess it right. But I guess to that point, making this game is going to be uh, my first introduction to devlocks, it's something that I've seen DevDuck do for years now on his game Dolphin, and I love his videos because they're super insightful and they're just so entertaining. That's what I want to do is showcase the progression of this idea that I have for my game and how you guys can see evolve. To be transparent, while I know what the theme of this game, I actually don't know the mechanics of it yet. So that's going to be part of the process too. I've been watching a friend, Thomas Stewart, as he grows his own channel on YouTube. And one of the series that he's done is this prototype series where he tries out a bunch of different game ideas and he makes these little prototypes and then asks the community what they think is the best. And that's the one he's actually going to make as his game. He's already released two games, which is awesome. He's done it in like a very short amount of time. And as, as he's gone full time game dev, which is super inspiring. Uh, honestly, it's incredible that he's been able to do that. But you know, I, I think that maybe we'll get there one day, not not there yet. And then I've seen other people like Sam Yam who like disappeared for six months, made her own game and now is like really pushing her uh, cat little like the desktop simulator or something like that. That's super cool where you just disappear. What is exciting is that I already have like this little devlog zero or maybe devlog one. I'm not really too sure. I recorded some pretty cool footage of uh, myself based on what the theme is. And I'm excited to share that. Maybe that helps some of you out because it has to be something that I can physically do in order to it actually be relevant in this devlog. So there's a hint there. And hopefully you guys are excited to see me as a developer 
start sharing my own actual game dev journey and making my first game. I guess one of my final points is that I know that there are things that I'm lacking as a developer right now. And I don't even think that for this first game, I'm going to be able to learn those skills. But something as I've grown literally older is that I've realized I don't have that much time. Time is something that I never have enough of. And I think I'm starting to be a little more okay with outsourcing. So if you are a 3D artist or a 2D artist, I'd love to speak with you. We have a Discord channel. I'd love for you to pop in there, showcase some of your work. I'm going to need 3D and 2D artists for this game, either for the uh, the 3D would be, the game is going to be in 3D and the 2D would just be for like character sprites and you know character art and everything like that. Definitely join the Discord. There's a link in the description. And yeah, I'm super excited to share this with you. It's a long time coming. It's almost five years in the making that I've been making all these tutorials. And I think I'm now in a place where I've accepted what I know and what I don't know. And I'm super excited to keep learning, but also actually start making a game. It's awesome to finally say this to the camera, to all of you. I can't wait to share it with you. But to wrap this up, I do want to end with one final challenge for all of you in 2025. Join me, make a game. And we'll see by the end of the year, maybe maybe it's not even done, but maybe we've made progress on the game. I'd love to see what you guys are making. If you're already making a game, uh, share that below. And I'd love to take a look. I, I do find inspiration in this community. And it's really cool to see what all of the other developers are making. Obviously, that's pretty much all my Twitter and Blue Sky feed are. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope that I see you guys in the next video. And I hope that you're excited for this new journey on iHeart Game Dev. Cheers.